crew members! It is I, Tamara, and we are back for another episode of Tamara Plays Dragon Age Origins. We are on episode seven. Yes, episode seven. I'm Chris. Yes. And what what did we do last episode, Chris? Only everything. I think we like <laughs> uh, saved a whole town, no big deal, and fought some zombies and and uh, the mayor died, but it's fine. Yes, the mayor did die. But it is fine. Because Perth and his boys didn't were like sad. Yeah. Perth, Parth? Perth. Perth. Perth and the right, boys. that's what it was. Yeah, Perth and the boys. We got Owen, this guy over here. Now we, we have to go into a spooky go... castle. Yes, now we're going to go into a spooky castle where we don't is know. Is it supposed to be night or? No, no, no. Oh, it's the next because morning. remember, we lived through the night. That was Oh, the right. Point. Yeah, it was the next morning when they were like, let us remember the dead. There was the mayor and then some other fucks, whatever. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. So now oh. we are going to go and we are going to go talk to Ban Tegan, who asked us to meet him at the windmill. Me and my three best friends. Oh, man, Morgan hates all of our choices, by the way. No, she's just been a, a catty bitch this entire time. Yeah. Oh, I suppose we'll be getting cats out of trees now. Hey, oh, will we? Is there a side quest? I'll go do it right now. I to think of how much death there has been here. Yay. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. Perth and the boys. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. Also, I'll make soup in my right pauldron taken. later. Mm -hmm. All right. Perth and the boys. Thank you, the boys. These are the boys. See? Mm -hmm. These people should be thankful for your timely arrival. I know I am. Without you, you surely would have perished. Aw, thanks, bro. And now let's talk to Ban Tegan. What's up, Ban Tegan? Oh, how quiet. My the man. Looks from here. My buddy. You would think there was nobody inside at all. I like the uh, well, red cliff shield. Yeah. Yeah. To enter the castle after the village was secure. I missed it. What is it? Uh, what's their sigil? Um, it is a tower on top of a red cliff oh. on a white field. I Appropriate. Do they have yes. house words? Uh, it doesn't have it on his shield, but I'm sure they do. Um, there's a secret passage in the mill. Uh, so why didn't you mention this before? Why didn't you enter the castle in the first place? That's convenient. <laughs> well, yeah, the, those first two questions are both legitimate questions. What do you feel is more important? Uh, why didn't you mention this before? Yeah. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. Nah, you're a liar. Place. That's not true. Sorry, I wouldn't have I done that. Make his breath. Uh, this bitch. Tegan, and the maker, you yet live. You're the so worst. You're alive. Fucking How hypocrite. What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. But also another example of why the Chantry is garbage and, and why the Mage's me. Tower doesn't and work. I need you to return with me, Tegan. Alone. Mm. Why? <laughs> yeah careful this could be an ambush we will need more of an explanation than that why don't we all go to the castle you don't seem very concerned about what's happened here you don't seem very concerned about what's happened here what? who is this woman Tegan you remember me oh like this bitch soul. better not Alistair of all the why are you here they are great this is the bitch that kicked Alistair out oh yeah burden me I I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances. Please, Lady Azold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you mm. have an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. Mm -hmm. The dead waken is and... Involved and the delivery. zombies that have been attacking the village? The yes, she just said the dead waken and hunt yeah. Yes. <laughs> Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. Despish. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. You're the you worst. Know what else to do? Then we must decide quickly what to do. What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? Tell me about this maid you mentioned. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? Why must Tegan go alone? Uh, four. Presser. I, I beg your pardon. That's a rather impertinent. Yeah, of course it is. 
Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Oh, like some answers. turning on the waterworks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I might be tainting this character. Yeah, for you're you. a little bit, but it's like also like, why are you why are you attacking me right now? Yeah. To live. I just don't like her. So fortunate. It's killed so many and turned their bodies into walking yeah, nightmares. I know. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. Yeah, I'm aware. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Mm. Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? Tell me about the mage you mentioned. So why must Tegan go alone? Um, tell me about this mage you mentioned. I, I do not know. Oh, I pressed oh, the 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 demon one by accident. Oh, you gotta be careful your numbers. I, I it's because I'm used I'm to having gonna, my fingers slightly you over. Come back with me, Tegan. Mm -hmm. No, she's really right. turning on the waterworks. Yeah, tell Why me about this mage you mentioned. Infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? Mm. He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Okay, why does this guy need to go alone? Yeah, why does he need to go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan. I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. <laughs> I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. The king is dead. We need to decide we need what my to brother do. Now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. That's dumb. Oh, thank the maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. Yeah, I meanwhile I'm gonna come in through that underground path. What good will that do? This is a mistake. You're going to get yourself killed. It seems you have little choice. Uh, what good will that do? I'm not certain, to be honest. Then why go? Sorry, alone. I definitely peaked the mic there. <laughs> yeah, you're having real <laughs> problems with this character in this this uh, development. You're like having an emotional reaction to I this. I don't like her. I'm not a fan. Quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. You're the worst. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're just completely tainting this character. Just I, like, okay, you're also what? ruining the twist I'm of gonna, the character, I I'm guess, a little stop. bit. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. She's so fucking obviously not telling the truth. Perhaps I will. And you don't know why I hate her. So. Increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do in there? And that's it. It's all up to me. Good. This is the way I'd prefer it. I can't let you do this. It's insane. Um, I'm torn between one and four. What do you I think? Don't, know. Well, don't you haven't been hiding your true feelings so far? I can't let you do this. It's what insane. What choice do either of us have? If your business with Eamon is important, you're going to have to go inside to find him. Yeah, right. but you could come Without with me. Without Eamon, we'll never get the support we need. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. You're just if growling you into the microphone go, now. Do you need a moment? No. Here is my signet ring. It will I'm, I'm going to try, okay? I'm gonna try, okay? I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it. And you can make you up your own fucking mind, mind, okay? Yes, viewer, you're allowed to make up your own yes. mind now. <laughs> you were allowed to make up your mind before. I just, like, ugh. I don't believe that. I will rescue all, you all, I promise. I understand. I'll do my best. We must end this evil no matter what. I could stop you from doing this, you know. Of course you're expendable. Any reason I should be going in there? Um, I don't believe that. I will rescue you all, I promise. You are brave as well as beautiful, it seems. Oh. The maker smiled on me indeed. When he flirted he a you little. Yeah, you two have, <laughs> have some chemistry going on. So we are just going to send him with that woman? Seems too dangerous. Yes, it does. No it does see that. I didn't Allow say it. Liliana said it. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, you handsome, dumb dummy. All right. Might as well go. Let's go in. Let's go in the windmill. The Fuck windmill, it. We'll the do windmill it has live. The, uh, the windmill has the entrance. Yes, the windmill has the entrance. Yeah. Take all. Ooh, I found a love letter. Oh, wait. Wait, before we do that, I found somebody's last will and testament in the Kakari Wilds, right? 
And it said I had to bring it to Redcliffe. Is that somebody here or somebody in the castle? I don't know. That's the thing. I'm not Does I'm it not give sure. you any more information on your journal? I'm also worried that I missed out on them and that maybe they were in the Chantry and now I can't go in the Chantry. Because I don't think I can go in. Can I? Oh, maybe I still can. Oh, there's a Chantress board. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sister Giselle posts, Unfortunate news has arrived that the Darkspawn have extended their incursion into areas previously thought safe for tra travel. A runner from a border caravan brings word that they unknowingly passed into infested territory and were being tracked by several unseen creatures. He was dispatched to seek help and does not know the fate of his fellows or the viability of the trade route. Travelers in the area are urged to be cautious. A any with the ability to rescue or determine the status of the troubled group will be rewarded. Except. Brothers and sins, Sister Rana posts on behalf of her neighbors. The Darkspawn incursions in the south have made for difficult communications, even through official means. The relatives of the conscripts in the company East Hill have beseeched me to deliver word of their brothers and sons. I have no means to do so, but can point a traveler of stout heart in the proper direction of their recent engagement. To any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little who... Any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little silver they have been able to entrust to the board, as well as the sincerest gratitude of the Chantry. And Except, now the weather. Uh, uh, skin deep. A runner sends his request for Knight Commander Thames. Uh, while the reports I've heard no doubt suffer from exaggeration, the observed creatures assaulting Redcliffe trouble me greatly. If we are to properly combat these unnatural agents and prevent their reoccurrences, the mages bound to my service will require carefully prepared samples of flesh for study. Thereafter, should a deployment occur, we will be well briefed. Uh, if there are skilled warriors present, I would have them gather samples from any remaining creatures as close to the presumed source as possible. The Chantry will re reward this basic assistance with spiritual acknowledgement. If the request is exceeded, gold will be added, but the offer is limited. Okay. Except in every side quest time. Desperate Haven. Sister Reyna has I'll heard reports of an imminent tragedy. I have other bounty hunters, you know. Uh, a runner has brought me dire news of a group of refugees fleeing the Darkspawn. They have been concerned and un cornered in unfamiliar ground, fighting for their lives. The Templars are necessarily occupied, and my own means are few and stretched. If someone of skill has the ability to deliver these people, I can only offer the honest gratitude of myself and of the Chantry. Hopefully that will be enough for the rare person we need. Hey, I'm nice. I want to get paid, but it's not necessary mm. for me to get paid. The deep dark before dawn. No, now you're just devaluing the services of other people who actually need to get paid. You're like, I'll do it for the exposure. Hey, who's this guy? As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Uh, is there something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Uh, yeah, the Irregulars. You're going to help Sherlock Holmes fight vampires or whatever <laughs> happens in that show. How can I be of service? I just thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars mm. regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a Thank look. You. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. More make money! Like Gonna make that money. Uh, scrapping the barrel. There are a number of people who pledge to aid the Blackstone Irregulars in times of need. Those times are now. Here you will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them oh to God, the people listed below and return to the Irregulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Uh, Daryl, Garrison, and Redcliffe, uh, Patter... Oh, that's what that guy's for. That guy who I saw last episode, who I walked in on and was like, uh, hey, and he was like what do you want and then i was like nothing i should go <laughs> and that was the only option that's him oh yeah um so i'll accept that lothering and denerum oh i gotta go back to lothering i don't know if i can go back to lothering well 
The irregulars require a trusted agent to track down and deal with deserters. Do this and you will be rewarded. These deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to the irregulars' future as a supplier of mar martial services. Was that deal the people with you these wastes of spaces as you see fit and bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with. We will ask no questions as to your methods or the final condition of the deserters. Use your own discretion. You will likely find them in the following locations. Lake Callanhad, Denerim, and the Frostback Mountains. Okay. And grease the wheels. My friend, I have a task that requires some tact and discretion, and I think you're perfect for the job. The Blackstone Irregulars cannot survive without the patron pat patronage of the nobles, mages, and other groups who retain our services. For that work to continue, however, we must ensure that people are looking out for our interests. To that end, I ask that you make a trip to Denerim and pass on our appreciation to certain individuals. Return, you are done, and I will see that you are rewarded. All right. Hmm. I'm kind of with Morgan in this one. You're going to find every cat in a tree. All right. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, man, but war efforts require money. <laughs> it's very true. You're a great warden, right? Ah, uh, yeah. This is her. In the Kokari wild. My husband and son went there to bring the chance yeah. to the Oh, lady. I'm so sorry. Are you Jetta? You've heard of me? Is this the will and testament? Your husband and son are both dead. I, I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Certainly. Make his blessings upon you. Just delivering happy news everywhere we go. Uh, yeah, well. Was that the lady with the will or no? That yeah, was that a... was the will and testament lady. Uh, okay. There are many gone who we must honor. Okay. But we must <laughs> Sorry, I just walked away from that lady. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use. But you're devout. I'm supposed to give this sword back to this lady, but I'm gonna use it for the combat that's gonna come in. Are you, you're gonna get a chance to, to give it back to her after? Uh, that's a good question. <sighs> I should probably just give it back to her, right? Yeah. It I'll just give it back to her. I said I would. I'm a good person. And it's after the battle. So maybe I can offer to pay her for it. No. It's important you that she gets us. it back. I can't believe we're alive. And it's finally over. Aw. There's still Darkspawn to deal with. It's not over yet. Everyone is saying. We might have to evacuate the village if those Darkspawn come closer. It just seems so horrible. With mother and father both mm. gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. You're going to be an orphan? How old are you? I won't forget what you did, though. I think she's a no, teenager, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Why do you have to go to an orphanage? With mother and father dead. We don't have any money. You should join the Grey Wardens. No. You've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised mother I'd see to Bev in safety, and I will. Um, perhaps I could help you get to Denerim? Oh, your path is probably much too dangerous for us. There are wagons going there. Yeah, I'm going to give you money, lady, expensive. is what I'm saying. Would 50 silver not be enough? That Take it. That, it won't be enough, but it will help a great deal. Thank you very much. What do you mean that won't be enough? Ugh, I don't have enough money now, to give to her, I guess. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. No, wait, your sword. Oh, shit. I guess she just didn't want it back. Uh, I guess I just accidentally paid her for it. But I was going to give her both the sword and the... Oh, well. You can't be too nice in this I universe. I guess not. I guess I can't be double nice where I give her the sword and the money. Or maybe I should have given her the sword first and then given her the money? I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to go get that guy because, like you said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back here. So I'm going to go in that guy's house and be all, hey, guy, you're, you're, you're conscripted. Get get in there. Get out there and fight. Here's a sword. You don't know how to use it? You oh, no, wait. This isn't his house. Oh, his house is up by the waterfall. That's right. I just remembered. It's by the waterfall. So what are you thinking so far, Chris? What have you? What are your thoughts so far on watching me play it? Uh, it's a. It's got a good story. It's got loads of atmosphere. 
It has pacing issues. Uh, and it's very traditional in its RPG-ness. It does remind well, me of like an old. older generation of... It is an older generation. Yeah, I know, right? Now the 360 and PS3 generation, the seventh generation, that's considered retro. I guess we're on like the ninth or tenth generation now. It's hard to keep track. Yeah. Because like what counts as the first? Because like the first, I guess, is Atari... Where you had like, but there was like so many of those and like so many different like competitors. I know the first one I got and the first console I ever got was a GameCube. Yes. What can I do for you? I had a we had Super one, Nintendo. We I had, had like a, an old clunker that we could, I, you could play like, it wasn't Duck Hunt, but it was like a hunting game like Duck Hunt. And we had that. But like, I don't kind of count that because we had one game for it. Mm hmm. I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she you have said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Last. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. All right. Got one number one. Nope. Did I just try to leave at the same time that he tried to leave and make the game stop? Okay, no, I get it. It figured it out. It figured it out. It took it a second. But it figured it out. It's like, but it's like two people. It's going through the door. Or <laughs> Chris, but tap the fish for one. luck. Tap. Lucky fish. I'm going to go check in in the tavern, see how what's her face is, and if that guy died during the combat. Well, he wasn't mentioned in the long list of dead. Yeah, was which was one to... and then a bunch of dead people. Oh, he's not there. Maybe he's in a crapper. Hi. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Uh, it's good to see you too. Anything I can get you? Um, I need some supplies. Do you have Fair supplies? Enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. No, I took it all. But is Lloyd not? I don't see Lloyd. All these elves are working with I guess the Lloyd died. They gladly sell us down Lloyd was the, the bar back. owner? Probably right. Yeah, Lloyd was the guy who owned the bar. And he was the guy who I was like, yeah, if you don't get out there, I'll kill you. And he was like, oh, okay, I guess yeah. I'll go out there. If you don't die for our country, I'll kill you. Well, it's not even that. It's like, these guys are so stupid. Like, who are you going to sell beer to if all, everybody in the village dies, moron? Zombies? Like that one scene from Gremlins? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> one smoking a cigarette, the other one's right. just firing a pistol at the girl. We got that guy, which I believe was the, the loathering quest. I gave that lady 50 silver, which, like, do I not have money? I just need to check and see if I have money. Oh, I guess I don't have money. Oh, your money is gone. Ah, oh, well. I'll get money later. Paragon characters never have good money. Because they give it I'm to everybody. Nice. They're like, hey, you, you want money? Take it. I like Commander Harris. Move along, friend. Uh, very Thank well. You. Fucking Templars. Sorry. I guess not all Templars, but still. Hashtag not all Templars. <laughs> hey, I do feel for them, all right? They're addicted to magical crack. Like, they don't really have a choice after a certain point. But oh. also, <clears throat> like, the Chantry needs to be dismantled from the inside out. Die, bitch. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Hi, Jowen. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Um, Did you possibly. get into the grape juice too? Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowen. 
I'm amazed yeah, hi, to be sold hired to tutor her son Connor until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Why? What have you done? You don't know? I thought everyone knew. I poisoned all emo. Uh, oh, you're that guy. I already know I'm that. I'm proud of it. The Alessa had no idea what I was hired to Yeah, do the blood mage. Mm -hmm. That guy. I I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not Wait, he's the blood mage the from the opening the from the yes, mage opening. Yeah, I did I play that one. When all that began. And then I had to stop First, playing that opening because I kept getting stuck in that, that maze-like fade. I thought she meant my poisoning of the owl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. No. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Mm, torture doesn't work. Um, so why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Logay. I was told that Arl mm -hmm. was a threat to Pharrell. Nope. That if I dealt with him, Logain would settle matters with the circle. You see, I'm a Malefica, a blood mage. Yeah, I know. A of blood course. mage. Truly? I would never have guessed. <laughs> blood mage. Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the forbidden arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Logain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. But why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Uh, and he's Maybe a rich he boy, so he doesn't have to go to the, the circle. circle of mage I would take mm. him away for training. Mm. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. <sighs> wow, if only the fucking Chantry wasn't such a horrible institution. Mm -hmm. Check out our episode of T Mages vs. the Chantry. Part one and two, Part yeah. Part one and two. Yeah, on the um, channel. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. Why would Isol be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Uh, Arl Eamon had no idea of his abilities. They really abilities. are treated like X-Men mutants. No, yep. she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son. And that infuriated her. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Um, perhaps her son is responsible for what happened? I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the fade torn, <clears throat> spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Mm -hmm. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Um, how much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. Mm. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I see. I, I think I understand. to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Mm. Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. Mm. How will you make things right? Well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Uh, kill zombies? Can you kill zombies? Mm. And after that, what happens? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. Hmm. That's commendable if I'm it's true. So. so what now? What do you think? I should let him out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, fuck the chantry. So whatever. If this guy wants to 
rebel against them. I'm all for it. I do know you know you're a why? devout person. Do you remember though. why he chose to do that? Uh, shit, no. I don't remember it's because exactly he fell why. in love. Yeah. And he found out he was going to be made tranquil because he wasn't a strong enough mage. So, like, yeah, the thing that you did made someone turn to blood magic. Anyway, I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? I don't care. You're on your own. Run. I don't want to see you here again, ever. Escape. This is your last chance. You come with me. That's what. I don't care. You're on your own. No, I'm not leaving. I made a mistake, and I'm going to find some way to fix it. Okay. Stiff animation as I walk over and open the door. Hmm. Oh, Alistair doesn't like it. Liliana doesn't like it. Morgan probably does. Morgan does approve, yes. He doesn't... Alistair doesn't like it, like, minus five. Well, yeah, because they don't want you going against the Chantry. They're like, but the Chantry's so good for us. Yeah. Well, that's not even true, though. The Chantry, like, used him. Yeah. What about Liliana? She's had nothing but positive experiences about the religion so She far. was in a small Chantry in Lothering. Mm-hmm. That was her whole deal. Oh, so she's a sheltered girl. Very well. Hmm. Do you think these are going to come to life and attack me? I don't know. They appear to be of a different uh, lighting than the rest of the environment. Yeah, this it is, is weird that, huh? This is pre-normal mapping and shading. It's like how in Skyrim you can kind of tell which drug are going to come alive. You know? Yes. You're like, oh, you're going to come alive. The whack. <laughs> While he's lying there. I'm killing corpses. Yeah, this just reminds me of Marvel Ultimate Alliance a bit, too. <laughs> it's just Diablo with Marvel superheroes. Man, they really shit the bed on that third one. I think they did a fourth one not too long ago. No, it was the... I can't remember. There was one of them that was shit, and they did one recently that was also shit. Yeah, sounds about right. <clears throat> okay. We killed them. They're dead now, again. They were dead before, but now they're dead again. Mace, eh? I'll take that mace. All right. Let's go upstairs. Gather your party and venture forth. This looks so much like the castle from the opening of the game. I mean, they would look pretty similar. As you say. Oh, good. Demons. Don't die. That's my advice. Thank you, Chris. Actually, greater health potion. This one. Those are demons? Yes. Good. Die, sinners. <gasps> oh no, I died. Oh no, shit. <laughs> Die. Alistair. Health potion. Clickety clack. Oh Die. My gosh. These guys are tough. I know. You came to the wrong house, motherfucker. Yay! I did uh, hey it. Hey guys, oof, my back. Uh, 
Oh, you guys handled it? Okay, good. Let's go. I'm gonna drink this potion. It tastes like electric orange Kool-Aid. Next. Shield balance. All right. Mm -hmm. I did it. I died, but I did it. All right. Good job. Yay. Oh. Where's more zombies? They sound like fucking ring race. I guess they'd more be white instead of zombies. Yeah. Like, they're definitely zombie. Even though, like, the, the only difference is the setting. Yeah. Well, I think whites can use swords and stuff, where zombies tend to be a little more mindless. Slice. What? What one? Like, they're like the skeletons in Army of Darkness. Stab. I stab you. Blah. Nice. Shambling corpse. I shall do it. Okay. I'm not going to go in that room quite yet because there's more combat to be had in there. And I want to check around here before. Yeah, make I sure your shit's sealed up. I do remember dying a lot in this this castle. Now that I'm remembering stuff about my first playthrough of this game. Yeah. I do remember getting frustrated here and dying a lot. But then I think I discovered how the leveling system worked. So I was completely not leveled. Why can't I open that door? Uh, I could do that for you. That's not fair. That's not cool. Liliana could do it for you. She can't. I tried her. She Morgan? can't. No. I'm going to save real quick. Good choice. Save often. Okay, I'm going to try and level up, and then I'm going to up my cunning. Careful. They're coming from behind, guys. Dead. Oh my god, there's so many. I know. You're getting, uh. Oh no, Liliana died. You're getting ganged up on. Oh no, I died. Uh -oh. Just Alistair and Morgan? It's a good thing you just saved. It is a good thing I just saved. I see. Oh. And then we were all eaten by zombies. <laughs> The end. Oh, yep. That was just Alistair. On it. You can do it, Alistair. You can bring it back around. I believe in you. I don't know if Alistair's capable of like, doing straight up miracles. Man, you can do it. Come on, you are the one true king of Peralden. No. No. Nope. <laughs> and then they all died. The end. Load last save. I hate how they just walk bed. away like they don't care. It's like, ah, oh, that sucks. That's, That's worse. better, I think, than when... Like, you can see them and they just keep shooting at your body. Or like they just keep stabbing at your body and it's like, dude, I'm dead. Leave me alone. Yeah. 
you'll I notice that, that when we get to like when we eventually do a halo or something you'll notice that when you when you die like the elites are just like yeah and then they just keep shooting at you and you're like no, there's just not something that tells them you're dead they're just like oh he's easier to shoot now well, they notice me immediately you're trying to do a sneaky sneak? I did try to do a sneaky sneak, but my Sometimes sneaky sneak is just missed. not high enough. <laughs> I was missed, yes. Slice is nice. Oh no, he died. Ayana, wait. Do you have a. Uh, do you have a potion? Yeah, take that. Oh, who's dead? Alistair's dead. First down this time. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's just so many of them, and then they activate guys behind them who come in too. I know. Do you have like some good area of effects or like pushback stuff? Uh, not really. Here, do your frost weapons. Give me frost weapons. Do you have any poisons left? You can try poisoning your zone. I guess a zombie wouldn't be susceptible to poison. Uh, I mean, stupid things do happen in video games. Oh, oh, you're so low in health. Oh. Come on, baby, you can do it. Click all the right stuff. I know, I'm trying so hard, baby. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, this is, uh, maybe don't go through this door? I guess oh, you have to go through the door. devouring corpse. That's the problem. It's this devouring corpse What's that it? I haven't killed. What do they do? Do they bring people back or something? No, it's just, it's yellow, so it's the stronger enemy. Mm. And... Alright, I'm probably gonna die. But... Yeah. Oh. Oof. So you know, oh, yeah. start target the devouring corpse first. Yeah. Good. We have a strategy for next time. Um, mm, I don't really want to use spider shape because I feel bad for the viewers. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna cast a vulnerability hex on you. Oh, and I died. So it doesn't matter. Maybe Woo! you should use spider shape. You can do it. You can do it, Tamara. I'll hype you up. I'm your corner man. <laughs> you got to get in there. You got to click the right buttons. Oh, you got to click that. My shoulders. You got to click that red button, and then here, you got to then you got to click that blue button, and yeah. then and then you give them the old fire and lightning, the old buttons. fire and lightning from your fingertips. All that's those buttons. That's a standard procedure. I'm gonna try something a little different. Sometimes I, I am missed. And they immediately, immediately see everybody else, them. though. Devouring. devouring corpse there he is you. yeah you focus everything on that motherfucker. you take him out and you i may die today but you're dying first devouring corpse yeah i'm fucking this guy up i mean technically you did okay. divide die first because you are a corpse already you'll die again before i die the first time Okay, he's gone. Good. Focus on the weak ones. Now, I'm going to do Enraged Corpse. I'm going to have Morgan and Alistair deal with this Enraged Corpse. I'm going to have Liliana fight this Shambling Corpse. Yeah, you got it. You got your strategy down. <laughs> Alistair's getting low on health. Alistair's low on health. Do a quick swap de swoop. Uh, who's doing that? Cause 
Is that another devouring corpse? <laughs> really, man? Here, take a health potion proper. I'm, keeping a, I'm just mostly keeping an eye on your health bars. Thank you. That's helpful. Oh, looks like you're getting down. They're getting down. Nice. That one's dead. That's right. Stomp him. Get all around him and stomp him. Fuck you. Are you going to do it? Fuck you. Are you going to do it? Yes. Yes. yes! Ooh, save. <laughs> yeah, now comes the looting. It's a rootin' tootin' looting some patootins. Taking all the loot. I am noticing some writing cracks on this playthrough. Yeah? Yes. Uh, not like huge ones, um, but like... I don't know if they said to the woman who was playing Isold, please uh, say all your lines in the most suspicious way possible. But like upon rewatching, it's like, oh, yeah, you're like. I also noticed some things like when you were talking to that, uh, I could do that, that, uh, that blacksmith guy, his his sad voice was like he was like a cartoon sad dog because he was like, go away. I'm so sad. Oh no, bad boys. Oh no, bad dogs. They're bad boys. From that movie, Bad Boys. Like those two bad boys from that movie, Bad Boys 2. Um... <laughs> <laughs> In the spine, stabbing that dog in the spine. Okay, not a fun thing to sing, actually. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, Liliana's gonna die. Okay, whenever you can get up, if you get up in time. Like we defeated the zombies. Oh no, dogs! <laughs> oh no, dogs! Oh no, me! Oh my god. Liliana's down. Okay. You're getting your like your leg chewed off, and you're like, but I love dogs. <laughs> but I love dogs. I do love dogs. Quickly, get up, get up, get up and drink the health potion. Get up and drink the health potion. Ah, no. Dead. Dead. Okay, Morgan, you need to shoot this one. This dog. Now oh, your character's getting pretty low. I can't even change what they're doing, so I'm gonna wake up and drink le lesser health colleges, even though there's no reason to. Uh oh. Well, it seems like you're whittling them down. It's three on two now. Nope, one on three. Uh oh. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill the bad dog. Kill the bad dog. Stop missing. Drink the health potion. I drink the health potion. 
Oh, they're both basically the same. Okay. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. We're not gonna make We're it. We're not gonna make it, man. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead by dogs. Bad dogs. I know they're bad dogs. Look at all these bad dogs. Sure glad I saved after that last fight. <laughs> Uh, all right. Picking that up, picking that up. Say, what is the gun? That corpse skull that that guy wants. He's dead, though. Huh? Sorry, I was reading through some television headlines to give us something to talk about. Uh, Dexter Revival sees John Lithgow return to the serial killer what? series. Yeah, he's dead, though. He's Spoiler dead. Spoiler alert. I'm sure it'll be like a fantasy. He'll probably be like haunted by all of the villains. Oh, fuck. It's the dogs. I yeah, forgot that this is the You forgot about the dogs, the dogs again. Sorry. I'm going to attack from first. I'm going to find... Where is the bad one? There he is. Everybody attack this bad one. And also give me frost weapons. You health potion now. Actually, greater, like a regular health potion. Okay. Everybody attack that one bad dog. That's what? the leader he of died. the pack. Uh, Alistair died. Alistair's one weakness. Dogs. When you said that, I thought you meant like in how cute they were, not in then they bite you, you die kind of way. <laughs> it's like the way people say my one weakness is chocolate ice cream. is dead now too no liliana you're dead man you're having a tough go of it this episode i know i don't think i'm under leveled like they basically say you should go here first okay um this one this one both of us focus on the same one, and hopefully you're the job done. Oh my god, look at my health. Oh my god. No, it's just Morgan. Morgan well, versus four dogs. Bad. Take your bets now. <laughs> Chris, do you, do you got it? Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, you know what, dogs? This isn't. Mm, I get the sneaking suspicion I'm gonna be like doing a fast forward cut on some oh, of these. Man. What? What? Do, oh, why? Oh man, you you do better. <laughs> Shambling corpse, devouring corpse. It shall be done. Shambling corpse. And the rage corpse. Besides, I'm so close to leveling up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm really close to leveling up, and then I can go back and open that door. Look there! A cunning trap! Can I. Oh, nope. Just fell over. What are these now? You went a different way? Well, I just went straight, so I was like, maybe this was. Oh, that might have been a worse fight. decision. Might have been. Okay. Any any scary ones? No, they all look basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my 
god, Alistair. <sighs> okay. Um... Health potion. I'm killing this guy. Oh my god, man. I need to pump up some of these numbers. Well, you seem to be going through them. Good. Down to the last yeah. one. Yeah. Nice. Now everybody, drink your potions. Alistair, you drink your potion. <laughs> I know you don't like the taste. Yeah, drink your potions. Be good. Be good corpses. These guys suck. Maybe time for another save? Yeah, I, I'm gonna collect all the things first so that I don't have to save. And then restart and collect and all the things again? Restart and collect all the things again, yeah. Because who knows what's around the next time. corner. Probably more things that just crowd you and try to kill you. Not oh, great. More corpses, Chris. Where'd all these corpses come from? Oh, the people the corpses killed. <laughs> uh, yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. I leveled. Fantastic. Um, anybody else special? No? You all look pretty normal? Enraged corpse. Enraged corpse. Enraged corpse. Enraged corpse. Healing potion. Uh, sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm just I'm focused. Yeah, we're trying to. I'm trying to make sure you don't die. Yeah. Yeah, I'm we just both like, just went quiet there because we're like, don't die, don't die. Don't Focus die. on not dying. Focus on not dying. Don't worry, I'm gonna get them improved battle tactics and stuff when I level up. Oh they need it. Yeah. Yeah. Just saw gang up on him. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> it's like the ending of Death Proof. Woo! Just beat him on the road I until one of you steps it. on his face. I did it, Chris. Okay. Alright, where is this this Arl? He has some explaining to do. No, the Arl doesn't have explaining to do. The Arl's, like... On death's door, the Earl has nothing to do with any of this. All oh, right, yeah, it's his son, though. Oh no, wait, I need a key, the main hall key. Okay. Careful of doggos. Okay, got that. Something there, got that. Armoire. A deep mushroom. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Please, oh my god! <laughs> that was dramatic. What was her name? Velveeta? Uh, calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. Stupid girl, get out of my way. Be silent, you are safe. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. 
right. And these monsters are everywhere. Hmm. My, my name's Valena. Valena. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. All right. What happened to everyone? Valena, the smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? I live in the village with my father. There's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. What the monsters? I've killed most of them. It's safe. This is your only chance. Flee or die, then you should stay here. Um, I've killed most I'll of them. It's safe. Way. Just avoid that I room full of the Mabari. No, I'm going to go back and get them. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get those. I just wanted to, like, get some stuff up. Yay, we found her. Look, she was alive and everything, Chris. Good. How often does that happen? <laughs> Usually they're dead. All right. Okay, I'm going to save. Saving. Gotta save. All right, I'm going to level up. I'm going to do cunning. Dexterity. Okay, I'm going to do Yes. Uh-oh. Hmm. What, you have to choose a thing, but you want both? Hmm. I want expert coercion. And then I want mechanical expertise. Now I can unlock all of the doors. All right, saving. Save the game. <laughs> saving the game because I'm paranoid. Uh, maybe if I stealth, maybe the dogs won't see me stealth. No. They can smell you. Whenever I do stealth. Okay, hold on, hold on, everybody. Yeah, stop everybody. We gotta work this out. Okay, okay. Alistair, you come over here and kick him. <laughs> you kick him. Okay, everybody's kicking this dog. kicking this dog. I know that you want to kick other dogs, but that's not what's happening here. You're going to kick this dog. Go oh, kick him. Oh my god, why aren't you moving? Liliana, what the hell are you doing? Go kick that dog. Now Alistair's dead. And I blame you for it, Loki. Okay. Now Liliana's dead. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with these dogs. I know. I know I am. Are you sure you had to go take care of the dogs? I, yeah. I want to take care of these dogs. It looks like the dogs are taking care of you. All right, you know what? <laughs> Do you want to fight? We can fight. Like, I can get in an argument with you right now about this. I'm going to kill these dogs. It's going to happen. It might not happen this time. It might not happen the next time, but it will definitely happen. Okay. Uh, greater health. Get up, get up. Ah, stupid overwhelm. Less safe. You I can, can do, do it. This. I believe it. I believe I in you. Can do it. You can, do, I can it. do it. You can kill these damn dogs. Tell me I can do it. You can kill these dogs. Tell me I if can anyone kill these dogs. could stab a dog, it's you. Oh, all right. You know what? <laughs> Why do you have to make me feel so bad? <laughs> Whatever. They're fucking with you first. They're bad dogs. They're not well trained. 
They are bad dogs. Or maybe they are too well-trained. This is the point. You are kind of a home invader. I'm not, though. I'm very much not. I'm not home invading. You're like, I have a key. I'm saving. I'm just here to check the mail. Yeah, like, why aren't these Mabari stopping the undead corpses that are walking around? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna stun that stupid dog. And then I'm gonna have... You'll do it. Liliana punch it. And then I'm gonna have Morgan Winters grasp it. And I'm gonna have him... Shield bash. Okay, everybody beat up this dog. Is there like an alpha you can go after? Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. The alpha's like, grr, that's discredited science, grr. <laughs> I can do it, Chris. You can do it. You I can, can do, do it. it. With just three people left, you can do it. I'm keeping an eye on Alistair. He's going down nice and quick. Come on. Come on. He doesn't have any concussions or anything, right? No. Okay. Concussion grenades? No, like an actual concussion. Oh. Like he hit his head and can't lie down. Yeah, like an actual concussion. That's what part of actual concussion? Well, I didn't know that was a stat know. effect in this game. Yes. Just getting a concussion. Now he's dead. Fuck. All right, I've got four left. I've what did you start left. with? Mabari's are tough, man. You know what? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go. Uh, you're unconscious, I know. Um, where is your... Uh, no. Uh, here we go. Self, 50% dream life, mind blast, horror, winter's grasp. Uh. I recently played through... Uncharted 2, and Alistair's a real dick in that. Tamara did not like it. I didn't like it at all. It made me really upset that he was like, I'm, I'm Alistair. I'm, you know... I'm, I'm a dick to Nathan Drake. Dick. I'm his buddy who constantly fucks with him. It was not cool. Not cool at all. Uh... Alright. We're gonna see if we and can I do die this. attempting to grenade a reporter. Spoilers for Uncharted. It's a pretty good game. You've got this, baby. I don't think I do. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. Well, it's good you have realistic goals. Oh. My feelings. Some of hurt feelings. These dogs are hurting everything else, though. Oh my god! Like seriously, you down to three now, or there's still four? Oh, there's still four. Fuck. There's still four. I'm so close to having this one dead. Uh, dream life, maybe. Your your character could probably use a potion, a health potion. I, do I look like I have one? I don't know. I guess not. No, I don't. Because there we go. Now it's a little Drink it. Drink it. No. Okay. I've got it down to three. I'm definitely not going to make it. Um, it's going to go back up to five when you try to do this again. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Morgan. I'm no. so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to die. Maybe she can pull it out. I don't know, man. Uh, I need a lyrium potion.
ending. Oh, I took one out with me. Yeah, down to two. I'm getting better. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to do something. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. It might go terribly for me, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to turn Morgan into her spider form and see if an additional, like, kind of tanky character might help. Nope, didn't help. Uh-oh. Chris? What do you want to do? Well, Maybe I leave the dogs alone? I want to kill these fucking dogs. I want to kill these dogs. Why? Because it's personal now. Because now it's personal, and I want to kill these dogs. You know what? First, I'm going to go see if I can unlock that door. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. The armory, you say? I shall do it. You know what that means, Chris? Mm. It's inventory management time! Yay. <laughs> Mine's still better. Still better. I'm gonna go turn the ovens on because I'll need to put the chicken in. Okay. We returned from inventory management oh my time. God. It's like watching it someone shuffle around their closet. It's it wasn't even that long. Mm. Griper. Okay. I'm scared, Chris. We had, we're, you're gonna go after the dogs again? Yes. Okay. First things first. Welcome to Dragon yeah. Age Origins, where the ultimate enemy is not a giant dragon, but a small pack of dogs <laughs> left up. in a closet. Shut up. They're not... They're not... Don't even... Don't. Leave me alone. Come on, Warden. We must save Thetis. Yeah, but first these dogs, though. First these dogs. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. You can buff Alistair up. He's got a, he's like absorbing the hits. Distraction. Bard's performance mm -hmm. replete with dizzying flourishes is designed to distract and confuse. The target forgets who it was fighting, becomes disoriented, unless it passes a mental resistance track. Mm -hmm. Okay, do that. Yeah. Hopefully these dogs don't have high mental resistance checks. Okay, almost done, almost done. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Good, one down. One down. Mark and it off the board. Let's go see which one's lowest after that. This guy, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever you manage to get up, my man. It's like the Zach Morris timeout of combat. Mm, dead. Okay. Alistair is an acceptable loss. We can move on. Okay. I feel like if you lose either Morgan, Liliana, or yourself, though, you're. I never liked this part. Do you. Despite would spider form help? No, I don't think so. I think I died faster with spider form. Okay. You. You. And you. But you do a health potion. And you do a health potion. Go. Great. 
Um, now I'm going to do <coughs> a stunning one, and she can do blow the belt, and you can lightning the fuck out of them. Yes. Pause. Health. Dead, dead. This one. This one. This one. You do the stunning. I <coughs> will strike it. Morgan, uh, give it a hex. Um, distract it. I'm gonna kick it. And then Morgan. Disorient. Oh my god, Chris, I'm so close. We can do this together. We can do it together. Yes! Yes! We did it! <laughs> Those are some uh, dead Mabari. I kill them. I kill them all. You loot them. What? I did they have it. potions and money on them? Some of them have potions. Ooh, a bunch of war paint for my for my own for cool my Mabari, puppy. who is a good boy. Who is a good boy, not like these bad boys. Who's this charred corpse? Well, it doesn't matter. He's got a deep mushroom on him. Okay. I did it, Chris! I'm saving it. I'm yeah. Saving it. Save game. Save. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. <laughs> All right. Back to our regular scheduled program. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud. High five you me. Yes. Yeah. You defeated those assholes. I did defeat those assholes. That's where what's her name was. Okay. Uh, through the locked door. It shall be done. I don't know. You need a key. Yes. Let me go through here and quickly save again. <laughs> I'm paranoid. Okay. No, fair There's enough. I mean, like so there could work. be a thing in there. Guess I'm going back down. Um, real quick though. <coughs> no, can't make any. Oh, I don't have any flasks. Mm. Bummer. Gather your party and venture forth. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be skipping through some of that. Pile of junk. Okay. I don't know what that little room was for. I guess just a loot delivery system room? Yeah. It's a suspiciously high amount of health and armor before the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well...
behind you, or you have to let them in? Ah, yeah. Shambling corpse? But that was more of a sprint. Okay, you vulnerability hex on that guy. You uh, try to stun him if possible. And you try to get him off Liliana's back. Uh, I have one potion, so I'm going to save it. Sorry, oh gosh. Um, who's more important, Chris, me or Alistair? Uh, in this fight, probably you, right? Because you would have all the more shit to do. I mean, Alistair's the tank, but like... He usually just absorbs a lot of fighting and then goes down first. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him. Yes! What's up with Morgan? Yes! Uh, nothing. She's there. Oh, then why'd you ask who was more important, you or Alistair? Because I was asking who was more important to get a... Oh, a boost. A boost. A, oh, yeah. I misunderstood the question. I thought you just meant in general. No. At your order. <sighs> oh, archers. Are those the Kingsguard? No, they're... Well, the Kingsguard came in to help me, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, not Kingsguard, but R. Lehman's Knights. Yeah, whatever. I did but... it! <coughs> I beat the Revenant! The Castle Guard. Oh, so you were asking what their shields look like. That's what their shields look like. Oh, yeah, I saw it earlier. It's the cool. It's like a little red hill with a castle. Or a tower. Thank you! Also, I got all this Revenant money now. Woo! Good job, Sir Perth. See? Good Perth job. and the boys oh. helped me out. Saved my butt. Now you can go in there and demand answers. Are we gonna are we gonna cut before we go in, or do you want to cut before we go in, or do you want to cut after we go in? Uh, because it's a cutscene, and then after the cutscene, we can save. I would say let's do it. Let's let's yeah? let's climax this story in this episode. It's a good one-two sure. punch for last episode and this episode for all Redcliffe. Shall we yeah. enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Um, I want to look around elsewhere first. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. We are going to go in together, though. I just want to check and that see. That dude next to him looks like Blackwall. This is where I came from, right? The basement cellar, yeah. Does it look like Blackwall? Kind of. He was a tall dude with black hair and a black beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's go in together. Come on, Sir Perth. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Let's go Let's to the hall together. Let us go now. Yeah. And see what awaits us there. Woohoo! We're gonna go see what's happening. Oh, shit. Well, I told them not to come in. <clears throat> Uh, this is like that episode of Star Trek where a godlike being that with childlike mentality made the crew do weird shit. You know. <laughs> Every episode of Star Trek, the original <laughs> series. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Oh my god. Yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. Mm. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. Mm. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. 
I'm surprised you don't order her executed <laughs> in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. You're bad at this. Mother? He's possessed by a demon, I remember this. What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thanks, the maker. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? Look at me just standing there with my arms crossed. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible. No, for you what are. He does. Sorry, sorry. I said I wasn't going to do this. So he is the evil you spoke of. You've been protecting him this entire time. What did you do with Ban Tegan? I have no intention of hurting him. So he is the evil, the evil force you spoke of. Oh, don't say that. I mean. So the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that no, it mage, wasn't. the one who poisoned demons. No, he didn't. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. He is it a was baby. a fair deal. Father is a liar. Just as I want him. Mm. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne. He's not a king. Arl Eamon is not a king. He's an Nobody Arl. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. <laughs> I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting. Didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. Uh. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? I came to stop you. I was hoping to find Van Tegan. I need to see Arl Eamon. I came here to help if I could. Me? No reason. I think I'll just leave. <laughs> just, just, uh, just uh, stab him. I'm here to stab a child in the throat. Uh, I was hoping to find Van Tegan. I need to see Arl Eamon. I, I need to see Arl Eamon, but I was hoping to find Van Tegan. Uncle? But Uncle Tegan is right here. Say hello, Uncle. Hello, Uncle. Oh, God. Dear Uncle is very full of himself. Ooh, look at that yeah. nice Dutch angle. I mm. think being a jester rather suits him. Don't you, Mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. <laughs> Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I mm. crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Okay. We must not Don't worry. I'm gonna have to stab a child. I'm gonna have to stab a child. Mm. I'm not going to be stabbing any children in this playthrough. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. If you want to get him depossessed, you then have to go to the mage's tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this is what I was talking about, where the game lost me initially, where I was like, okay, and I'm here, and I'm gonna get, I fought my way into the castle to get to this kid. What? Now I have to go to a completely different location and do that fade thing to save this kid? Uh. Yeah. It's a little roundabout. Well, but the thing is, you have to go and do it anyway, so it's really not that roundabout. Like, you have to go to the mage's circle anyway. So, like, it's just, yeah, this is how you save him. You want to save that kid? I know, but, like, they just they didn't really do, do that again like this. Like, imagine if, like, Mass Effect was like, oh, you get to the point where you have to, like, get Liara out of that, you know, behind that shield, and then she's like, okay, now first go to Chichanka and... Get the parts for the laser. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you all right? You're the worst. I am better now, I think. Aww. My mind is my own again. I almost had to kiss Nichelle Nichols. What? I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. That's the TOS episode where Shatner oh, kisses am. Nichelle Please. Nichols. It's because oh. they're both under mind control from a very similar childlike god there being. There must be some way we can save him. Mm. You knew about this all along. I'm not about to kill a child. I see no way this can end happily. You knew about this all along. I... Yes. 
didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. Mm -hmm. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. Mm. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. That's right, and I stand by my decision. I thought he'd be useful, seeing as he helped start this. He's no more to blame than you are, Lady Isolde. He'll yeah. get what's coming to him, don't you worry. Um, He's no more to blame than you are, because she's to blame. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> if this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. If you'd just he sent your fucking executed. kid to the circle tower yes, like everybody me. else I has to. But I... I yeah. know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, <coughs> I can't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Mm -hmm. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Or the Please. demon's manipulating you to I make you think that. Yeah, I mean, we're not stabbing this kid. This. It's like, an, it's like uh, the evil Connor dead. The demon's an evil dead. Him. Oh, Ash, let me up. I'm so scared. They take him away. Nah, I'll suck your soul. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... No. What are our options? Where's Connor now? Why did he run? Where's Arl Eamon? So you had no idea the man you hired was an assassin. Jowen, what can you do? Add to this discussion. Okay. Where's Connor now? Why did he run? I think he ran upstairs to the family quarters. Violence scared him. Mm. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... Um, or he might be waiting in ambush. I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again. And so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Oh, perhaps. Mm. Is there... Is there no other way? Where is Arleman? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. Mm. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you had no idea the man you hired was an assassin? No. I trusted Logan. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? Mm. A demon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? You would only demand we do the right yes, thing. Yes, of course. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... To magic. Hmm. Uh, so Arleman didn't know about Connor's abilities. Mm. Would that have been so terrible? And now you may lose him anyway, and so much more. You've brought this on yourself, woman. So Arleman didn't know about Connor's abilities. What's Connor's raising to me? When I discovered it, I was frightened. I didn't know what to do. And so you oh, so he's a deadbeat dad, to too. To your mm. own son. No. No, no, please. There must be another way. Mm -hmm. There must be something we can do. Mm, Joan, what can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. Hmm. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection so there's an option. to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires Lyrium and, and several mages. But I have blood magic. Mm. I didn't and get you into this trouble does, in the first place. What difference does that make? Miriam provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from mm -hmm. someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. 
Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Uh, is there no other method? Power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. No, you don't get what? out of this. Isold, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside me, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Yep. It does seem like a sensible choice. No, Even Morrigan, come on now. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. <laughs> it, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Um, there must be another way to enter the fate. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Yes, he will. I will take that well. chance. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. All right. So, we have, uh, we've talked to the Lady Isold, and, uh, which was one of the names of Alistair's potential mom, by the way. Isold? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what's her name, that lady there. Mm. Um, we got Bantigan, we, we got the knight's help, thank you knights, and, uh, we ran into Jowan again. And we sent a bad demon boy to his room. Yes, he's in his bedroom, <clears throat> moping. Or potentially laying some kind of deadly demon-based trap. Yes, that is also possible. I mean, I hope not, but, like, also possible. Uh, can't open it. Well, I'm not going in there. All right. So that wraps up this episode of Tamara Plays Dragon Age Origins. I'm very excited. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, we got all of Redcliffe Village done, and we got all of Redcliffe Castle done for the most part. And now we're going to go to the Mage's Tower. Woo! Uh -huh. Yay. <laughs> It's fine. It'll be fine. We'll be okay. We'll get through it together, right, Chris? Yep. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Yes, uh, if thank you, you all. haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. It really helps us out. And thank it you to the all our algorithm to wonderful show subscribers. Us to people. Thank you so much. Yes, to all of our subscribers. We love you. Uh, and have a great day. Bye. Bye.